Hi, my name is Wade James, and thanks for checking out another Guide Fitter video tech tip. Today, we're talking about something that's usually overlooked, white balance. If you're watching this right now, and you don't see something wrong, you should probably go see an optometrist. White balance is a key feature that will give you the look that you want, but also can destroy footage very, very quickly. So right now I'm running with the white balance totally out of whack. And here is where my white balance should be for the look I'm going for. White balance runs on a Kelvin scale. So the higher number that you go up to 5600, 5800 is the more yellow you add to it. The lower you go in the 3000 range is the bluer or the cooler look that you're going for. But what I like to do is I like to run it and look past the camera at the object that I'm trying to focus on and try to match the white balance on camera to what I see with my own eye. This is just an easy way for me to judge the natural lighting that I have and the color that it needs to be with my eye and then through the camera. This makes it easier in post then to also manipulate to get a look you're going for. But having that set up in camera initially will get you far ahead of the game when it comes to post-production. Running on auto white balance isn't always the best option either. Every time that you move the camera or hit record and start and stop, the camera resets itself. So in this setting, if I'm setting up interviews and I have a constant light source, running in auto will change drastically take by take or any other additional daylight option that comes flooding in through windows. This is only noticeable when you're cutting different pieces out and you're butting the pieces up against each other. You'll notice that the one's a little blue and the one's a little yellow and it'll drive you nuts in post-production trying to get things right. In a tree stand, it usually doesn't matter too much, but with auto, it will mess you up a good bit going from those dawn and dusk moments. When the light is changing constantly, your camera is usually looking for white balance to correct itself with and your footage won't be congruent throughout. Trying to fine tune your knowledge of in-camera settings as far as white balance and aperture and ISO and shutter speed, these are all things that you can use in conjunction to basically make your footage look as good as possible and save yourself or your editor headaches in post. These guide fitter video tech tips are just going to help you get your footage ahead of the game quickly and easily so that way you can lay down some awesome footage that can be utilized for yourself, your friends, or in the industry. My name is Wade James and thanks for watching Guide Fitter Video Tech Tips.